Another $1.6 million to go towards stormwater management today. This comes after downtown flooded last week for the fourth time since June of last year. The water covered streets, businesses, and partially submerged cars. And as WSOS 10's Rob Manch has learned, this time a member of city council actually had their property flooded. He's downtown for us tonight. Rob is. So, Rob, is there a solution in sight? Well, what I heard from city council today was a lot of frustration from council members because no, there is no plan in place right now to solve this problem. And that $1.6 million that was passed today is not even nearly enough. Now I'm standing on First Street downtown, and if you live or work here in Roanoke, you know this is the worst place to park your car in the event of a flood. Here's what First Street looked like in June of 2016. And in August of 2016, and here it is last Thursday. Downtown flooding in Roanoke is becoming an unpleasant and costly summer tradition. But we have to address it because it's a real issue. Council member John Garland says last week he too fell victim to the rising waters. We thought we were safe because we raised the building up uh, from flood protection another foot and a half, but it still came into the building and uh, flooded several apartments that we just finished uh, renovating. Now Garland is looking at thousands of dollars in damage drywall damage, floor damage, uh, you know, just the ills that come from having water in the apartment. But Garland says the brooms and sandbags that come out every year can't be a permanent solution, and city council agrees. In addition to the $1.6 million approved Monday, the state is matching another $1.6, and the stormwater fee is bringing in another million this year. But it's a drop in the bucket for the city's current $87 million in unfunded drainage projects over the next five years. It's not that we're sitting here on our hands not doing anything. It's that we are constrained by financing. As At well. the meeting, city manager Brian Townsend discussed ideas the city's considering. So would pumping water to some areas or towards some areas help with the rate of flow during high flow times? That's something we need to look at in terms of, but it's a... Pump stations are very expensive to build and expensive to maintain. But Garland says if people can institute things like pervious pavement and rain guards on their own properties, it might help long term. If the city can work with homeowners, developers to come up with a scheme that'll do those small incremental things, then that's going to be the answer. And of course, the real issue with the city's drainage problem here downtown is the outdated sewer system. But city council says it doesn't want to spend the millions necessary to fix it, nor does it want to close down Campbell Avenue for a year. So meanwhile, city staff will research other ideas to fix the problem and present them to council members this fall at a summit. But meanwhile, if you live downtown, keep those sandbags handy. In Roanoke, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.